When you type google.com and hit enter, your computer initiates a complex series of conversations across the network stack. Before connecting to the internet, your computer must first establish communication with the local network. If your device just powered on, it needs an IP address and to locate the router, starting with a DHCP Discover Broadcast. The DHCP server, typically your router, responds with an offer, providing an IP address like 192.168.1.50, along with the gateway and DNS server details. With an IP, your computer then uses ARP to find the router's physical MAC address, essential for building the Ethernet frame. The router replies with its MAC address, completing the local network setup and allowing your computer to send data beyond its immediate segment. Next, your computer needs to translate google.com into an IP address, as the internet operates on numerical identifiers. It sends a DNS query, a UDP packet to a DNS server like 8.8.8.8, .8 asking for the A record of google.com. The DNS server responds with the IP address for google.com, for example, 142.250.190.46, which can vary by location. Now knowing Google's IP, a reliable connection must be established before any web data can be sent. This begins with the TCP three-way handshake. Your computer sends a SYN packet to Google's IP on port 443. Google's server replies with a SYNACK, acknowledging your request and sending its own synchronization. Finally, your computer sends an ACK packet completing the handshake and establishing a secure, ordered connection. Since Google uses HTTPS, a TLS handshake is initiated to negotiate encryption keys, ensuring secure communication. Your computer sends a client hello, indicating supported cipher suites and a random value for key generation. The server responds with a server hello, selecting a cipher, sending its digital certificate and parameters for a shared secret. After verifying the certificate, the client sends an encrypted pre-master secret, followed by a change cipher spec message. The server acknowledges with its own change cipher spec and a secure, encrypted tunnel is now established. With the secure tunnel in place, your browser sends an HTTP GET request for the google.com homepage. Google's server responds with an HTTP 200 OK status and the actual HTML code for the homepage. Your browser then parses this HTML, discovering additional files like images and scripts, and repeats HTTP GET request for each. This entire intricate process, from local network discovery to secure web content delivery, happens in milliseconds every time you type a URL.